is going to do a walk around on this 1987 Vanagon Synchro that we just picked up. This is a 1987 full camper, has 148,000 miles on it. I'll start here on the left front corner. Um, first off, I have the covers for the steering column here and for the fuse block. A uh, guy had them out because he was, I think he put a new uh, electrical portion of the ignition switch in it, and so he just didn't get that put back in yet. Um, front seats are pretty good shape. A little bit of wear right here. Door panels have a couple little cracks on them. Um, the dash is actually in pretty good shape. No cracks. Um, starting on the driver's side, this dog leg right here has some surface rust that's kind of bubbled the paint. It's, it's really solid though. Um, not rusted through down here on the bottom same thing needs a little work right there this side the long wall i don't know if this is from a jack or if it actually you know hit something looks to me a little more like maybe a jack or a lift um it's all nice and solid but it does need it does need that dent pulled rocker over here nice and rust free Moving up to the long wall here, see there's a little bit of puckering right here and there's a couple little cracks in some, in some body filler right through this area. Now, <clears throat> the previous owner said that about 15 years ago, it actually got laid on its side and so th this, this whole side's been painted. And uh, if you kind of look at it, I don't know if you can see if I kind of catch the, the light a little differently. It's, it's pretty straight. They did a good job pushing it out, but it definitely, it definitely does show some signs of a repair right in this area. And then if you move up to the roof, you can see there's still a little dent right here. It's hidden when the top's down, but uh, yeah, that that obviously happened as well. It doesn't look like this. Doesn't really look like this drip rail was was damaged. Um, it's it's separated it's just a little bit right there but you know it was he said it was a pretty minor minor damage minor wreck um moving back around uh, to this corner again just minor kind of you know a little bit of rust here and there the seams are are decent but of course this whole side's been repainted so you'd kind of expect that maybe you can see there's some seam sealer here that's uh, not factory so when this side was painted, they did some, put some seam sealer in right there. Moving around the back, the back hatch has got a few scratches here and there. Oh, one other thing on this side, uh, there have been some hooks added, I guess, uh, to tie stuff down on the roof rack. Opening the back up, um, does have the factory screen here. The drapes for the front jack and everything's up here. Um, upholstery's a little dirty. This guy used it as a camper, so we haven't done any cleanup on it yet, other than ran it through the car wash. A little surface rust here. Again, the body's solid. Seams on this side are good, but if you look close, you can see it's had some paint work done on this side as well. Um, I'm almost thinking after looking at it a little more almost looks like you know the whole the whole van's been sprayed at some point again another tie down here um, this side right here is probably the worst rust it's got this area here that's bubbling um, if you look right there just slightly through right here so underneath pretty solid not all cancered out. Rockers are solid, but it does have a little right there that will need to be repaired. Um, inside again, haven't really done any cleanup. We ran a vacuum cleaner through it real quick. Um, there's the underside of the steering column. Rear heater does work. Um, 
it does have just a little hint of antifreeze when you first turn it on so there there might be a small some small you know a little bit of seepage around the rear heater core or possibly in the rear shutoff valve can't actually see any you know anything leaking but uh there, there is just a little whiff of, of antifreeze when you first turn that rear heater on. All this stuff's pretty clean. Rear seat's back, so I'm not gonna be able to pull this up, but that's all complete. Again, edging's coming off a little bit here, stretched in a few places. Rear seat's in good shape. Move up here to the canvas. Canvas is in very good condition. And I believe there was just a slight, <laughs> slight patch on, on the screen. Right here, just where the screen was repaired slightly. But the canvas itself is in good shape. Original one window canvas. Mattress up top. Good shape, no holes. Doesn't really show that there's really ever been any mice or anything in it, which is nice. Um, you know, just maybe a few little stains here and there that would probably clean up really quick with a, a shampoo. out here passenger side door panel on this side again a couple little cracks dog leg over here on this side is a lot cleaner than the driver's side a little a little bit of paint chipping on the uh, seam there but uh, you know pretty pretty rust free down inside here the frame and everything's pretty rust free haven't got it up on the lift yet to like check the ball joints and stuff um, and I do still need to change out the rack on it because it does have a little bit of a power steering leak the back around to the front the front of the bus is maybe the only part that hasn't been painted I mean this actually looks like it's original it's kind of chipped up um, if it was painted, which actually, you know, I, I just think it's probably original. If it was painted, excuse me, it was a long time ago. A um, little bit of clear peeling around uh, this side here. <clears throat> Tires that are on it are, are nothing special. I think they're actually a size small. They're 205 70 14s. The front ones are in decent shape. The back have a little bit of weather checking on them um, stock 14 inch wheel covers so it's got a couple of exhaust leaks I need to sort out um, looks like a fairly new Bosch alternator but yeah when I've got it in the shop on the lift I'll I'll see if I can sort those exhaust leaks out. Let's take this thing for a spin. Speedo head has a little bit of a, it's got a little noise in it. I don't know if there's a way to oil that. To be honest with you, I've never, I've never had to do that, but I'm sure there's some way to oil it or lubricate it. I'll have to do some checking on that. It works fine. Bounces just a little teeny bit, but uh, it, and it reads slightly off because, like I said, these tires are 205. 7014 
and I think this is supposed to, I think the synchros came with the 215 75 or 70 14 so they're slightly smaller than uh, what it should have and so the speedometer is actually reading about oh I think it was about five miles an hour off when I had my GPS on it on the trip to Utah um, I'm right at 900 miles right now um, actually probably a little more than 900 because I, I reset the tripometer after I'd left Wilson Wyoming where I picked it up but uh, so I'm a li little over 900 miles probably but it's showing 882 on uh, the tripometer right now all the lights work uh, high low beam turn signals uh, I think the only lights that aren't working are the uh, the rear running lights you know the corner lights um, they get kind of they get corroded and and uh, the sockets just go bad go west he sells a, an LED upgrade kit that is a pretty good deal like 20 bucks a piece or something but it shifts nice um, goes through all the gears real nice and the previous owner said that he had done something with the shifter he said he replaced some of the bushings on the shifter again I haven't had it up on the lift yet to really see what all has been done under there but he said that he did do some work on it and it, and it does shift pretty pretty nice great as well some crazy fog rolling in here head down the highway here and get up to highway speeds very responsive lots of power um, I mean I'm, I'm used to driving you know my tin tops got oversized tires that's a little sluggish and then of course I have I don't have the decoupler and so I'm always I mean I will drive so th this thing is snappy compared to, to my synchro I mean I'm at that's 60 miles an hour right there um, I had it up I think I had it as high as you know 70 75 but this weekend when we took it to Utah I tried to keep it right at right at about 60 65 these tires being a little bit smaller are causing it to to rev a little higher than it normally would I think these tires are probably an inch shorter than what it should have on it but it's you know I mean I'm in traffic right now I'm at 65 keep it up no problem right there right there at 65 I'm getting just a little teeny vibration and that was the other thing I was going to check on it um, I need to check the drive line the u-joints in the drive line because it's kind of a telltale drive line vibration um, I just had my drive line rebuilt here in town it's a non-serviceable u-joint so you basically just have to replace it but I did find a guy that could get me the u-joints and I think he rebuilt my drive line for around a hundred bucks. So while I have it in the air, I'll check those I'll check those U joints out. 